Hi guys, kamusta kayo? So while waiting on my ride, um, I just want to share with you why I can't upload so much video right now. So the first month of this year, it's so stressful because we had COVID. Yeah, so we experienced the Omicron. And account to that, until now, I'm suffering for for cough. Not so bad, pero there are days that I'm having hard time to, to breathe. And uh, I really need to go to the doctor how many times to ask for antibiotic and some medicines. Kasama pa dun, eh, umaatake din yung aking high blood. Yes. Gusto ko i-share sa inyo yung mga gamot na tinetake ko until now. It's not because I'm saying na meron pa ako nun, no? Kaya lang, to take care of yourself and to make it sure if you're safe, to make it sure that you're healthy, to make it sure that you will live long life after what happened. Eh, kailangan mo talagang gawin yun. Even if you need to pay more money. So, yung simpleng ubot sipon dito, kapag pumunta ko sa doktor, and they sent, uh, um, pag, kung nagmag-send sila ng, uh, what you call it, reseta doon sa mga, sa, kung saan mang pharmacy mo, bibilin yung gamot mo. Hindi mo alam, you don't have any idea how much is it until you pay for it. So, yung simpleng ubot sipon ko, how many times na akong bumibili ng gamot na mamahalin. Kasi gusto kong gumaling. Even though na sipon at ubo lang siya, diba? So, mahirap magkasakit. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas. Pati rin dito. Pero kung may insurance ka naman, okay lang. Kasi antibiotic is uh, parang kung may insurance ka, cover niya yun. But this moment in time, we don't have that. So yun sa amin, cancel siya eh. So we are paying or I am paying full price for all the medicine that I'm taking. That I'm taking. Um, yun. <coughs> so, I share sa inyo kung ano yung mga gamot na tinatake ko na talagang ilang buwan na so gusto ko ipakita sa inyo actually nung pumunta ko sa doktor ko at first binigyan nila ako talaga ng antibiotic kasi after mo magka omicron one week ang omicron and then after that you still coughing He's still suffering from phlegm. He's still having hard time to breathe because your throat is itchy. You have headache, body aches, lahat lahat na. So I finished one one um, antibiotic and then after that, hinintu ko siya kasi sabi ko I'm healing, I'm fine. I don't wanna overdose myself taking antibiotic kasi parang I'm taking care of my kidneys too so I stop ko siya but sadly after few weeks or days nagkaroon na naman ako so meaning it's a big no-no that if you have antibiotic you need to take it all until it finish and follow doctor's direction if it needs to be taken twice a day do it so ngayon nag Di balik na naman ako sa doktor ko kasi inuubo na naman ako eh. eh. I don't know. Sabi nila, if you had Omicron or you experienced COVID, it will take a while para makop up yung body mo. Sabi nila, it takes six uh, months. And I don't believe on that kasi para sa akin, it's only flu or ubot sipon. Pero eto, eto yung pinaka the best na kahit sinabi ng nanay ko, yung Amoxil Club dalam araw pa lang ako nagtitake eh, na, na feel ko na may changes na sa aking ano no, sa, sa aking katawan 
if you will notice my voice is not loud i'm still here in the building where i work but i'm off i'm off already i'm just waiting for my ride i, I just want to do this video here because it's light is good i'm still wearing my uni my yeah my clothes properly iyo ko naman mag-vlog sa bahay na makita niyo nakapambahay lang ako gusto ko lang i-share talaga sa inyo na hindi madaling magkasakit dito sa Canada maybe some people thinking we're in Canada medically hospital hospital mga libre ganyan yes check up yes but your medicine you need to pay for it much better if you have your insurance so you will get uh, lots of discount for your medicine so I'm taking this um, dexamethasone 4 mg too for my for myself and then the new ito nga pangalawa ko na to na binigyan nila sa akin which is the amoxiclub it's 14 tablet good for one week and I need to finish this for a week yan alam nyo guys hindi siya mura tapos um, plus to that bumili rin ako ng extra strength for allergy relief kasi nga nagkakati yung aking lalamunan bumili ko nito sa Costco tapos I have perindopril din for 4 mg for my high blood no kasi nga kailangan ko mag take nito na high blood ako pagmakain ako ng mga papa tapos binigyan nila ako ng pangalawang gawat which is amlodipin na tinitake na rin ng mami ko ng mami ko sa bahay so, ayan, nagme-maintain na ako ngayon kasi nga, hindi na tayo bumabata. Ayan, ito, nakatulong talaga ito sa akin. Itong isa na to na inhaler na to, na sabi is Pluticazone Prop 125 MCG. So, inhaler to. Ito, alam niyo magkano to? $65.95 plus tax. Ito naman is Salbutamol for yun nga, pagka nahirapan ka ng huminga and you want your phlegm to be easy tapos nakaka-cure din siya ng itchy so yan, ito I'm taking this so, I'll take one now, parang yun na yung sundo ko so ganyan siya, dala-dalawa tapos ito din ganun din ang ginagawa ko Sabi nila, effective to sa mga may hikat. Yun lang. So, pinakita ko lang sa inyo lahat ng mga medicine na tintay ko. Ang dami nila, di ba? So, sabi nga siya, dinala ko na yung isang bag ng medicine para matapos na. So, guys, sorry again. And I want you to know na I feel so bad why I can't upload so much video. I can't do it at, uh, outside because I'm sick. And uh, I'm not sick na kailangan ko ihiga or hindi ako magtrabaho. I'm sick because yun nga yung ipakiramdam ko na may ubo pa ako hindi pa ako ganun ka ka ready mag explain ng matindi para sa inyo so again I am really sorry time will come I will be healed I'll continue uploading and sorry dun sa mga ibang followers ko na talagang inaantabayhan na yung mga interviews dun sa mga experience ng iba kagawin natin yan and uh just so you know na I'm very thankful I'm still in this uh, YouTube world wherein I'm sharing and I answering some of the questions ng mga kababayan natin and I'm happy to do that so yun lang and my ride is here thank you so much have a great night bye